Cord cutting uh, continues uh, to be a, a term that people use when we talk about media. Uh, there's you know, some dissension as to, to whether it's in full force yet. It is a little, but Amazon also continues to be a threat. Customers still crave uh, faster internet. Uh, joining us now to discuss the shifting landscape in the media and cable industry uh, is Mike Fries, a CEO and vice chairman of Liberty Global. Thanks. Uh, it's good to see you every year here, Mike. Seems Great like, to be yeah, here, guys. It's the only Thanks. time we see you. So I always think of you as like the the international cable guy, but I have to, are you a mogul now? Do I have to think of you as, you know, are you a programmer now? Or am I going to see Well, we have some content investments. Uh, yeah? Yeah, we own you're a You're going to be a vertical, you're not. Uh... Slowly but surely. We own sports networks throughout Europe. We own a stake in Lionsgate and some right. program suppliers. But I think we're taking a more tactical approach about content. Vertical integration, I think, is largely inevitable over the next five years. You've seen it happen, of course, in the U.S. Uh, Europe's a much more fragmented market. Uh, people like local content principally. Uh, they're 80% of the time they're watching their local broadcast networks. It's, it's a little bit behind the curve. So for the time being, we're being more tactical about regional sports and, uh, and, and that type of content. But we'll see over time. Yeah. So in commenting on what's happening, and Comcast reported yesterday. And, right. And, and, you know, they're big Internet play. I mean, they're putting sure. a lot on, on Internet at this point. But people still watch the video ads. And I think in the quarter a year ago, it was 80,000 ads. This time it was 30, down 33,000. So this is yeah. still... You know, whether it's Comcast or, or whomever you want to look at. We're actually improving. If you look at our nine months, we lost uh, 60,000 subs. A year ago, we lost 150. So our, our video business is actually thriving. Could be 150 right. next quarter, though. Well, not really. I mean, no, there's two, so two or three things we're doing. For starters, you know, we've really partnered with OTT. So Netflix is in five countries on the box. And when people watch Netflix, a third of our customers are watching it through our service. And that's a great, it's great content. Um, secondly, we're investing a ton, like Comcast, in the user experience. So you can watch it on all your devices. Um, you know, you can pause it at home, pick it up on your mobile phone. That experience is resonating with customers. So I would say if you're not investing, if you're not leaning into that experience, if you're not investing in products in that roadmap, then you may have an issue. How do you look at the, the landscape, the chessboard going on right now? Even while we were in Davos, the big news uh, in yeah. media land was uh, that uh, 21st Century Fox did not, is not getting, is yeah. getting really struggle on that Sky deal. Right. Um, obviously, they're now merging into Disney. Right. I think Wait, that deal which, happens, ultimately. Which one? Um, the, 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 the deal in the U.K. So okay. The yeah. Sky, Sky deal, deal still does. I think so. Um, and the Disney deal helps that in the, in the long run. But I think they'll make some sort of concession or provide some remedies. Listen, this is all about scale. Uh, when you're competing with Netflix or Amazon or the companies you mentioned at the outset, it's all about scale. So you're seeing two types of convergence. It's fixed and mobile convergence. There's been six deals in Europe. We've been part of two of them where mobile operators and cable operators are coming together. Uh, they've all been done at 11 and 12 times cable EBITDA, so much higher than our trading multiple. Uh, so you're seeing fixed mobile convergence. Then secondly, you're seeing vertical integration where whether it's uh, EPL rights in the UK or the stuff we're doing, or what's happening, of course, in the, in the U.S. with Time Warner. How do you, uh, that's, how, it's inevitable. How do European regulators, though, think about these deals? And do they think about you think differently than in, in the U.S.? I think by the, the way, UK we, situation is very unique to Rupert and, and Fox. But even but. in the U.S., the conversation about whether a sprint could merge with an 18th. I mean, yeah. this, all of this gets very complicated. In the, are they going to allow this kind of thing to happen yeah. more so quickly the six, in Europe? The six deals that have been announced with uh, mobile and cable have all been approved or will be approved. Uh, mobile to mobile, tougher, because uh, Europeans, of course, want to see low prices for mobile. So going from four to three or three to two is difficult. But fixed to mobile, uh, which is increasingly important for both operators, huge synergies, huge benefits to consumers. When we offer a cable customer a mobile product, churn goes down 50%. Who's got a better margin? The U.S. cable operators or the European operators? Uh, ours are a little higher. We're close They're to They're higher and your prices are lower. Why is that? We pay less for content. We don't have thirty-five to forty dollars going out to Hollywood. You know what? Every month, the content I'm seeing over here is is worth a hell of a lot less. Okay, so you, <laughs> I, I, I can just tell you from my own experience here. I'm, but we, yeah, okay. Do you hear what I was watching? Well, and, you're not Swiss. It, uh, no, you're I'm not, not watching the channels. I'm and, watching yeah. USA. It's like, I, and it's yeah. all I got over here. For, for, yeah. uh, Andrew's out. But if you're a European, you speaking Russian a local language, it's, it's a little better. <laughs> no, no. I so, but why is it, and, but, so? But long term, do you ever see parity? No, we pay seven, eight bucks a month for content. US would be thirty-five to forty, and we don't have a big ESPN in our in our package. In general, we pay less for localized versions of, say, Discovery or USA, and we don't have retrans fees you know, to the broadcasters typically. So it's just a more efficient gross margin on the video. And how do you think about Amazon in your world? 
they, they're players? Slowly, um, you know, in a market like the UK, they're not doing as well as Netflix. In a market like Germany, they're doing a little better. I think they're going to experiment with content acquisition. We'll see how that right. goes. Um, but I see OTT as more supplemental than substitutional. Given us. the scale that you, you talk about and the need for scale, yeah. do you ever see a day where Mr. Malone says, you know what, we're, we're going to we're gonna put all of our chips together? You never say never in our world. Does that make sense? It could. I mean, we do a lot of the same things. We buy a lot of the same equipment. We have the same product roadmaps. We pay uh, same content providers, potentially. Yeah. I mean, the, the industry, the European and the U.S. market are very different in some respects, but they're also very similar. We're heading down the same path, um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. When you're, um, you study for your interviews, don't you? I, I try to. Don't you, do you have the TV on in the background at least? Don't you have like CNN on or something? In or? the evening. Yeah, that's what I'm talking before, about. Yeah. Before, yes, okay. I do. That's right. It's just, you know, the, it's so quiet. In the, the, in the hotel rooms, yeah. you need to so keep the have, TV. Yeah, that's yeah. why. But, and having it on and right. just seeing where to put it, right. there's nowhere to put it, Mike. Right. I'm sorry. They're just, uh, work on that. Nowhere to put the... No channel to yeah. put it on where, right. where I'm not, right. either I can't understand right. a word that they're saying yeah. or it's... I don't know, curling or something. I actually yeah. do curling. I love curling. Anyway, <laughs> you'll work on that for me? I'll work on that. Because you're getting you, into the vertical. We own all the cable systems in Switzerland. So you seen we'll work Ozark? On I mean, have you seen some? We got I've great... seen a lot of great shows. I watched a lot of television like you guys, yeah. Who do you look at, just real quick, within your competitor set? Yeah. Who do you look around and go, that guy's doing something pretty interesting? Uh, well, I, I like Comcast is doing a lot of the same things we're doing. And I'd say we no, are leaders they're gonna, in that space. What do you think they're going to do next? Uh, good question. You think they go to Europe? Uh, potentially. I mean, I, I, we'll see. I mean, it's a good question. He's not very uh, international. They don't have a lot of international revenue. They're not very diverse. Um, they did, uh, of course, we, rumors were that they looked at the Sky asset and, and the Disney asset. I mean, the, the, the Fox asset. Right. And that would have brought them Sky. But it, unclear. Uh, you know, Brian's got a great business. I'm, I'm really, uh, uh, I think he's got a great uh, you know, set of assets, you know, great economics. I think he's in good shape. International would make sense at some point. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for Great to see saying you guys. nice things about our boss. You got it. All right. Thank you. <laughs>